Inspector Quartermain, I'd like to talk to you for a minute, if I may. I don't have anything to say to the press. I think you'd be doing yourself a favor. I hardly think so. So, you're going to continue to cover up your involvement with Grant Putnam, is that it? Our family knew absolutely nothing about Grant's activities. Then why not put the record straight, huh? All right, I'll give you a couple of minutes. Do I have to tell you that we didn't have any idea that Grant was a spy? Do you really expect my readers to believe that? I couldn't care less what your readers believe. No, but you should. I mean, any suspicions they might have about you could affect the finances of your family. How do you figure that? Who's going to want to do business with a family who harbors enemies of the United States? Hmm? Oh, don't be ridiculous. You don't really think that our family harbored an enemy agent? Well, the quartermaids have been known to cover up for their own before. Grant Putnam's not a quartermaid. No, but he married one. She didn't know that Grant was a spy. Well, so she says, but she was madly in love with him. Does that mean that she's going to come running to her husband's defense? She's not going to go anywhere near him. Oh, I think that remains to be seen. Well, then she will. Monica, before you say anything, this is Ian Shelton of the Port Charles Herald. Yes, I know who he is. Uh, you were saying something about uh, Celia going to her husband's defense? No, I didn't say that at all. But you think she might? I think it's up to Celia to decide what she's going to do. And uh, then the family will obviously back her if she does decide to stand by him, right? Never. Why not? Because our family won't allow her to defend him. Oh, I don't think it's up to the family to make that decision. It most certainly is, because it's our reputation that's at stake. Considering the reputation of our family as it is, I don't think we really have much choice, Alan. Do you think that our family wants to have anything to do with associating with a spy? I think our family should keep its nose out of other people's business. Monica, you better listen to me. Just one. You getting a kick out of this? Yes, I am. Ah. It won't be anything like the kick you're going to get if I see one word of this in print. Alan, let's go. I think you've done enough damage for the day. This is the last interview you'll ever have with our family. Oh, well, it's been plenty, thanks. Tell me something, do you have to cause a scene every place we go, everything we do? Tell me, you have to cozy up to reporters every place you go, Ellen. I was only trying to set the record straight, Monica. Oh, records? What records? I thought the family was desperately trying not to say a word about anything. It's that very fact that the papers are using to imply that we're covering up a Grant and Celia. Let them speculate all they want to, Alan. They're going to do it anyway. Ugh, the whole thing's such a nightmare. You would think that Celia would be good enough to disavow the man after all that we've done for her, but no, she keeps us hanging on a thread wondering whether she's going to defend him, whether she's going to stand behind him or not. Celia is going to do what Celia wants to do, Alan, and the sooner the family accepts the fact, the better. Come in. Hi, Steve. Hello. Sorry to interrupt, but I just had a rather disturbing uh, run-in with that reporter from the Herald. Well, join the club. You too, huh? He's making the rounds. Yeah, it's like the plague. Which reminds me, I've got rounds to make myself. I've got patience. Steve, did you want to talk to me? No, 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 go ahead. Monica, I'll talk to you later, all right? Monica, I have to ask you something, and I hope you don't mind if it's a bit personal. Oh, intrigue. Hmm. Oh, what the heck? I uh, was just wondering. Grant Putnam was living with your family all this time. Did any of you ever suspect him? What, that he was a spy? Hmm. Look, Steve, if you're implying... No, 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 we... I, I wasn't implying anything. Uh, just, uh, idle curiosity, right? No. But yes, yes. Yes, I'm curious, but I asked for a personal reason. Well, fine. Then I hope you don't mind if, uh, I ask a personal question. Why? Well, for one thing, that reporter questioned my judgment in hiring Grant and Natalie. Well, that is his job, Steve. I mean, to create issues, to find issues, and to cloud issues. Even so, do you think that uh, I could have done anything more to prevent what happened? Sure. If you had your crystal ball. Maybe it's our hiring practices. Maybe we're not thorough enough, not alert to small discrepancies, something. Oh, Steve, for heaven's sakes, I know personally the screening process that potential doctors have to go through to get into general. And regardless of that, if it took the WSB this long to discover the identities of Grant and, and uh, Natalie, then how can the world, can anybody blame us for not having done so? Good point. Still, I'm so angry at myself for being taken in by those two. We're all shocked. You know that Jake Myers had the unmitigated gall to ask me to support Grant's work here? 
Well, professionally, I wouldn't have any problem with that. What? I mean, I think that Grant is very confident as a doctor. Monica, what he did was highly unethical, to say the least. Look, I am not condoning his personal ethics. They're one and the same thing. Do I have to remind you that he used someone else's credentials to get into medical school? Ah, but he did go to medical school, and he is a doctor. His whole medical career was a sham, a farce as far as I'm concerned. No, I'm, excuse me. I think what he did with his patients was remarkable. Well, we were lucky in that regard. We could have had a few malpractice suits, then what? But, Monica, I'm astonished to see you stick up for him like this. I am only making my evaluation as a doctor, Well, see? doctor or not, he's a fraud and a liar. And he's done a great deal of damage to General Hospital's reputation. And as far as I'm concerned, it's never going to happen again. Yeah? Yeah, who wants to know? Excelsior Books? Another publishing company? Yeah, well, I can uh, handle things for the Quartermains. Mm-hmm. More and more. Fifth Avenue? I'm sorry, I can't do that. My apartment is on the park, and I never leave it. <laughs> Paperback? What's the matter? Our story isn't good enough for hardcover? Oh, 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 you mean a paperback after hardcover? And a movie deal? Great, I've always wanted to direct. <laughs> you don't think you can do that? Well, the other publishing company said that I could. Uh-huh. You will check into it. Okay, fine. One thing is very important. I will call you. Don't call me. Got it? Fine. Bye. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. That's telling him, my boy, you're terrific. What a charming little tableau. Oh, my. It's just about the time I thought it was safe to relax. Oh, is our uh, presence interfering with something? Not any more than usual. You're really spending an inordinate amount of time here, Jimmy Lee, aren't you? I just wanted to see if I could help. I'll tell you what, Jimmy Lee. Why don't you stay down in that gatehouse that you were so fussy about living in? And if we need you, we'll call you. Okay? But don't hold my breath, Lenny. <laughs> Is there something amusing about you? Yes, me? constantly. Look, I better get out of here and check on the guards. Why don't you have another drink? I'll take a rain check. I really am getting awfully fed up with him being around here all the time. I'm fed up with your rudeness. This is our house, Edward. Yes, and one that would be absolutely intolerable to live in if Jimmy Lee hadn't posted some security guards around here to keep those blasted reporters away. I was thinking about doing that myself. Well, why didn't you? Because I was occupied with other things like work. Now, while you're busy at work, this damn phone's been ringing off the hook. Jimmy Lee is taking care of that, too. Well, goody. Tomorrow I'll have a medal made up for him. Well, he'd deserve it. He's done more to restore peace around this house than a few other names I could mention. Are you referring to me? Figure that out for yourself. Or does Jimmy Lee have to do that for you, too? I'll ignore that remark because I think that you're under a lot of strain lately. You do just that. I need a drink. So do I. Where is Celia? She's taking a walk on the ground somewhere. You think that's wise? <laughs> She's safe. Thanks to Jimmy Lee. He's under a strain. I gotta keep telling myself that. Even if it kills you. You want this on the rocks or straight up? Straight up. <laughs> 